After Active Script List is enabled at your pharmacy, the ASL button will display in the MinFOS dispense form. When a customer is selected, the ASL button will show the ASL status of the customer. If you hover over the ASL button with your mouse, a tooltip will display details of the customer's ASL status. If the ASL button is greyed out, it means the ASL is not active and the customer cannot be registered at this stage. This can be due to many reasons. For example, the patient's IHI could not be validated. If the patient's ASL button is red and reads ASL register, the customer does not have an ASL yet and is eligible to be registered. Click the ASL button and the assisted registration form will display. There are several tabs on this form. The My SL Profile shows patient details and these are loaded from the MinFOS customer profile. The ASL registration process requires a primary contact who will respond to the initial message, providing consent for the pharmacy to access the patient's ASL. The primary contact can be either the patient themselves or their carer. Check primary contact if the patient will be the primary contact and select how to send the message, either mobile or email. Enter the contact details of the patient if required. The next tab is the Add Carer tab. A carer is a pre-registered person who can act on behalf of the patient. If the customer is already associated with a nursing home in MinFOS, this information will automatically populate in the Add Carer tab. Alternatively, add a personal carer using the drop-down menu. If the carer is to be the primary contact, check the primary contact checkbox. The next tab is the Add Agent tab. An agent is a pre-registered person whom the patient has authorised to collect supplied medicines on their behalf, but are not authorised to give consent or access the patient's MySL profile. The Register button on the MySL Profile tab, the Add Carer tab, and the Add Agent tab will move you directly to the Summary tab. The summary tab lists the registration information for the customer, the name of the customer, the carer if any, the agent if any, and the mobile or email the MySL registration notification will be sent to. Before submitting the registration, the checkbox indicating consent for the details being added to the ASL must be checked. The second checkbox is optional. Tick this box if the patient wishes their historical active scripts to be uploaded to MySL. Then click Submit. After submission, the medication knowledge disclaimer is displayed. Review this disclaimer and click OK. The registration will show as in progress, then a notification will display to confirm the MySL registration has been submitted and a notification requesting consent will be sent to the patient or carer. The patient will need to reply to the message giving consent before the pharmacy can access the patient's ASL. If the second checkbox, the patient wants historical active scripts uploaded to their ASL was checked, the patient will receive a second notification requesting consent for the bulk upload of their historical active scripts. Once consent is given, it may take up to 48 hours for the active scripts to be loaded to the patient's MySL. The ASL button will show as ASL pending until the customer responds to the notification requesting consent to view the ASL. When the customer has responded, the status shown on the ASL button will change. If the customer has replied no, that they do not consent to the pharmacy viewing their MySL, the ASL button will show ASL request access. This means that your pharmacy does not have access to view the customer's MySL and must request and obtain consent to do so. If the patient replies yes and gives permission for the pharmacy to access their ASL, the ASL button will display ASL view.